The Shell Oil Company presents Ebb and Zeb. We inaugurate this evening a new series of programs and introduce two characters whom we believe you're going to find extremely amusing, extremely entertaining. But perhaps introduce is not the word, for our characters are your old friends, Ebb and Zeb. Ebb Peters, Zeb Winterbottom, Corn Center Storekeepers, presented by the Shell Oil Company. And simultaneously, the Shell Oil Company introduces Shell 3 Energy Gasoline, a gasoline made entirely of the three kinds of energy your motor needs. Quick energy for starts, shifts, bursts of speed. Power energy for smooth power flow and pull without strain. Anti-knock energy, higher in anti-knock efficiency than any other non-premium fuel on the market. Shell 3 Energy, a gasoline triumph, is on sale now at all Shell dealers. And now to the Corn Center store and our reunion with two lovable characters. We find Eb tilted back in a chair, fast asleep. Zeb is coming through the door. Hey, Eb! Eb! Damn dingy! Eb! Wake up! Wake up, Eb! What? Uh, what the... Well, by the John Brown. <laughs> Zeb. Well, how where, are you? When in tarnation did you get back? Then burned it about a half hour ago, Eb, on the 420 train. Uh, 420 train? Yes, sir. Why, it ain't even 3 o'clock yet. I know, but this was yesterday's train. And I'll be switch. <laughs> Gosh almighty. Say, you're looking slicker than a saxophone player's hair. Hmm. Trip must have done you a heap of good. Yes, sir. I feel right fur to do. Uh, how's business been? Well, it's been pretty darn slow. Gosh, I don't know what's going to happen to us. Seems like things just get worse and worse. Well, from now on, they're, they're going to get better and better. Yeah? And how do you mean? Well, sir, while I was in the city, I, I met up with a feller named Clark. Yeah. One of these here efficiency experts. We brought him back when he'd look over our business. He just stopped in the hotel to register. He's a darn smart feller. But then I told you about him in, in my letter. What letter? Why, that letter I writ you last week. Didn't you get it? My gosh, did you, did you write that letter? Why, certainly I read it. Didn't you see my name signed to it? No, no, but I, I didn't read it. Just kept it for a spell and then I sent it back. You sent it back? Why, you poor fish, what'd you do that for? Because it said to do it uh, right on the corner of the envelope. It said uh, return to sender in five days. Oh, that darn it. I might have known you'd get it wrong. Every time I... Oh, Oh, howdy, Mr. Clark. Uh, Eb, uh, shake hands with Mr. Clark. Eb is my partner, Mr. Clark. Right. Uh, Mr. Clark's going to put our business on a paying basis, Eb. Right. He's the fellow I was telling you about, you know, the efficiency expert. Right. Sort of talks like an acrobat. Well, let's get to work. Never waste time, never waste words. Now, what was your income from this business for the past year? What say? I say, what's your income? Oh, about 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I don't think you understand. I mean, what you take in. Well, uh, when business is slack, Mr. Clark, we uh, take in the movie. Oh, no, 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 no. What I'm trying to find out is, how much money did you make last year? Oh, oh, how much money? Yes. Well, as near as we can figure, we, uh, we lacked just $150, uh, making 80 cents. You lacked 150 well, <laughs> I think I'd better have a look at your books. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Clark, but uh, we ain't got any books. No, but me and Zeb don't have much time for reading. I mean your your accounts. I want to see what's outstanding. Outstanding is where? Well, outstanding among your customers. Why, is somebody outstanding among our customers? No, no. Listen, haven't you some system of keeping account of what people owe you? Oh, sure, sure we have, Mr. Clark. Uh, Eb, show Mr. Clark where you written down what people owes us. Yes, right here you be, Mr. Clark. It's all written down on these uh, pieces of paper. Well, uh, what kind of a bookkeeping system is this? That there's a loose-leaf system, you see. A loose-leaf system? Oh. Yeah, yes. Uh, I write it down on a leaf of paper and then lose it. But I can't even make out what you've written here. Uh, here's an item that says, uh, Mrs. Jones, one dog posy. Well, what in the name of common sense is a dog posy? Well, that's a uh, shorthand for cauliflower. Mm-hmm. And what's this? Uh, it simply says ochre. Yep, that's right, ochre. Uh, you mean yellow ochre for putting in paint? No, happy ochre for putting in pudding. Oh, here's another one. Mrs. Pinkley, <clears throat> one duck, a dollar and forty cents. 
25 cents extra for, uh, for, uh, the word looks like teasing. That's right, it is teasing. 25 cents extra for teasing a duck? Well, it's worth 25 cents to tease a duck. But that's not the point. What I want to know is why in the world you should tease a duck. Well, you see, Mr. Clark, uh, she ordered a wild duck, and we had to tease it to make it wild, didn't we? Mm, I see. Well, this is without doubt the worst mess I've ever seen. Do these slips of paper represent all your account customers? What say? I say, are these all your account customers? No, thems are no account customers. What I'm trying to get at is, have any of these people paid up? Here's an account, for instance, uh, that goes back to last February. Now, why didn't you send a bill at the end of the month? Uh, which end? Why, the 30th, of course. <laughs> you can't fool me. There ain't no 30th in February. Didn't you ever hear the poem, 30 days has September, April, May, and October. All the rest is doing great except February 28th. Oh, now, Ed, you're getting all mixed up. 30 days has September. September, I guess is right. April, June, and October. All the rest has 20... You're crazy. Now, just a moment, please. 30 days Th has November, April, May, and December. Except 1892, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Listen, oh, no, listen. you're wrong. You're wrong, I tell you. In 1893, Columbus sailed the deep blue sea. The rest have 31, you see, under the spreading chestnut now, tree. Now, you're crazy. It's 40 days. You're wrong, you're wrong. 80 days. Just a moment, please. You're both wrong. It happens that this is leap year. And February has 29 days. You see, every year the Earth gains a quarter of a day, or six hours. So at the end of four years, astronomers take the quarters and call it another day. Oh, take the quarters and call it a day, huh? Well, uh, how much do they make a day? Well, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about time. You see, there are two important kinds of time. Yes, that's fact. Meal time and bedtime. No, no, no. I'm referring to solar time and, uh, well, clock time. Now, you and I tell time by clocks, but astronomers shoot the sun. They shoot it for a quarter? Certainly not. By shooting the sun, I mean they observe the precise moment that the sun crosses the time meridian at Greenwich. Uh, what kind of edge? Greenwich. Greenwich. That's the name of the place. It's spelled as if it were pronounced Greenwich, but it's called Greenwich. Yes, Eb, so it'll uh, rhyme with spinach. No, no. You know the poem, there was a young fella from Greenwich who dined every day upon spinach. No, no, I tell you. February with 29, and will you be my valentine? Now, just a moment. We're getting away from the original subject. How long has business been falling off here? Well, Mr. Clark, uh, we used to have pretty good trade, and people drove past with horses and buggies. You see, we're right here at the crossroads, and they used to stop in for groceries and such like. Mm, yes, that's quite natural. Yes, but now with all these darn automobiles, they just go zipping by and don't even hesitate. Mm hmm Well, I see. Well, then, I think the first thing for you to do is to evolve some sort of plan that will cause motorists uh, to stop. Give them a reason for stopping. And when they stop for that reason, they'll probably buy other things. Why, Cracky, that's not a bad idea. And in addition to that... Get on a budget. Get on a what? Get on a budget. Hmm. I wouldn't know how to ride the darn thing if I did get on it. You don't ride a budget. Of course you don't, Eb. A budget's one of them wire things the women used to wear about 40 years ago. Remember? We still got a few in stock here. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't you know what a budget is? Sure we do. See that vinegar barrel over there? Yes. Well, I bet you can't budget. Now, see here. You'd better find out what a budget is and find out quickly. Why, do you realize the state your business is in? What's that? I said, do you realize the state your business is in? Uh, California, eh? It's on the brink of an abyss. You don't tell me. You know, I had one of them there things on, on the back of my neck once. I mean you're on the rocks. Almost a bankrupt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen him in the movies once. What are you talking about? You've seen who in the movies? Well, that fellow you just mentioned, uh, uh, George Bankrupt. Oh, you're... you're hopeless. I'm telling you that you're busted. Broke. Well, here's my bill for my services. One hundred dollars. I'll expect a check immediately. Goodbye. So long. So long, Mr. Clark. D drop in again sometime. Say, just a second. Uh, you're charging us a hundred dollars just for telling us we're broke? That's right. That's what I always charge from my opinion. Well, I reckon you're out of luck, because if we are broke, we ain't got a hundred dollars. And if we ain't broke, your opinion's no good. Well, there's something to that. And now all that's needed is a plan for stopping the traffic zipping past the store. Something to help balance Eb and Zeb's budget. 
And there is a thought for you motorists. Balance your car operation budget. Get value when you buy gasoline. When your engine sputters, knocks, lacks power, don't confess to your passengers that it's the car. It's more likely the gasoline. Until now, no one gasoline could make an engine do so many things so much better. Shell has combined in one new three-energy gasoline exactly the kinds of energy your car needs. Shell three-energy gasoline is ready and able to meet every driving situation, from a quick start to a cross-country tour.